November 3rd, 2020 is One Health Day. One Health Day started four years ago to recognize the intersection of animals, humans, and the environment for the optimal health of all. It is a collaborative effort across multiple disciplines. One Health primarily concentrates on the transmission of disease from animals to humans, also known as zoonosis. One Health is especially relevant in the face of our current COVID-19 pandemic. This video introduces how our team is putting One Health into practice with Zoea. Zoea is the inverse of zoonotic disease transmission. Zoea is understood as the positive benefits to human health from interacting with animals, focusing on companion animals. The concept of Zoea originated in the work of Hodgson and Darling in Canada in 2011 and is an essential component of One Health. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, many people have turned to their companion animals for comfort and support. Much of the literature refers to this as the benefits of the human-animal bond. In 2015, Chalmers and Dell published about their application of Zoea in the field of animal-assisted interventions, and specifically, their work with therapy dogs. In their current study with Williamson and others, they are now applying Zoea to explain the work of service dogs. Working in partnership with military veterans through a patient-centered research approach, Dell and her team are examining how the human-animal bond can enhance the experience of Zoea among veterans diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder who problematically use substances and have a service dog. They are learning that the Zoea framework applies to the veterans' experiences and specifically how the human-animal bond can enhance the benefits of animals in their lives. They are also learning that the veterans experience challenges with their service dogs that extend beyond that of household pets, and that service dog welfare could be better reflected within One Health. This work is currently under peer review, and findings of this and other related studies can be found on the project website, www.servicedogresearch.ca.